Welcome to video 3.5. What we're looking at here is a bunch of stuff from Algebra 1. And basically it's all to do with equations of lines. We have slope we learned yesterday in 3.4. It's rise over run. And you can count it out on a graph or you can use the slope formula which is right here. Um, either way works. Um, then we have three different forms for the equation of a line. Um, the slope-intercept form used to be mine, the slope-intercept form, my favorite way to graph lines, but I've since um, really developed an um, appreciation for the other two forms. Um, you have the slope and you have the y-intercept. You can plot the y-intercept and count out the slope, or you can work it backwards. Um, find the y-intercept, count out the slope, and write the equation. Standard form is really w useful. If you have nice numbers and you can find your x-intercept, we know the y value is equal to zero, the y-intercept, it's where it crosses the um, x-axis. X is equal to, oh, did I get that backwards? I did, look at that. We're gonna have to rate that the y-intercept is where it crosses, no, that's right, x, x equals zero for y-intercept. Um, and we could look at a graph right here. If we had a line and where it crosses the y-axis is your y-intercept, and that has an x value of zero, and where it crosses the x-axis, that's your x-intercept, and that doesn't move up or down, so it has a y value of zero. So when it's in standard form, using this table of values and looking at your x and y-intercepts is a great way to graph things. The last one is the point-slope form. Really nice if you know a point, you have a point and you have a slope. Then you can substitute that point and slope into this equation right over here. And before you know it, you have the equation of the line. So let's try a few of those and a few examples here. We'll go to the next page. Do a few problems. Write an equation of the line in slope intercept form. Slope intercept form. So I'm looking for my y intercept. That's where it crosses the y-axis. In this case, b is going to be equal to negative 3. And now I'm going to count and find my slope, which is rise over run. So I'm going to pick another point where it crosses nicely. Find a point where it crosses nicely, and then you can count your rise. I go up 2, 4, and I run positive 1. So I have a slope of 4 over 1, or it's simply 4. So my equation is going to be... Here's the slope-intercept form for the equation of a line. Substitute it in. Gives me 4x minus 3. That's slope-intercept form. You find your y-intercept, count your slope, and then you got the equation. Let's look at the next example. Write an equation of a line that passing, passing through the point 2, comma, negative 3. We've got a point. That's helpful. That is parallel to the line with the equation y equal to 6x plus 4. So if you recall from the day before, parallel lines have same slope. So if we look at this equation, there's our slope-intercept form. We can see that the slope is 6 in that equation. And because we're looking for the slope of a parallel line, it will be the same slope. So now we have a slope and we have a point. So I'm going to use the point-slope form for the equation of a line. So y minus y1 equals m times quantity of x minus x1. And now we can simply substitute that point in, x comma y. So I'm going to stick 2 in for x1 and negative 3 in for y1 and then copy the rest down. And we can stick our slope of 6 in there also because it's parallel. and Theoretically, you could leave that answer in that form, or you could put it into slope-intercept form. I always personally like slope-intercept form, and most people will convert it to that. Remember, when you're subtracting a negative, change it to addition, take the opposite of the number that follows. So that's y plus 3. So now I have to subtract 3 from both sides, giving me in slope-intercept form, y is equal to 6x minus 15. That's putting in point slope. Well, make sure you go back and take notes on all those other problems. Okay, um, we're going to pause it here and go to the next video B and continue there.